Local News 8 in the morning continues. Now 656, here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, Idaho Governor Brad Little has signed House Bill 71. It bars transgender and transitioning children or children with gender dysphoria from receiving hormones or puberty blockers. Number two, the Family Crisis Center is holding a seminar today that will go over warning signs and effects that domestic violence can have on children. It will be held at the Madison Cares Building near the Rexburg Brolums from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Everyone is welcome to attend. And number three, parts of Pocatello are dealing with 10 to 20 inches of snow. The National Weather Service is calling it the heaviest snowfall to hit the area ever. Drivers are recommended to stay off the roads around Pocatello Creek, Nink Creek, Rapid Creek, and Buckskin Roads due to the severe conditions. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com, or on our app. Let's check back in with Jeff. Okay, yeah, 24, 26 inches of snow on into Income. This morning, we're beginning with some leftover pile. Uh, Fort Hall probably getting a shower right now across the interstate, uh, and we do have that avalanche warning that's in effect down around the Bear River Range. So we're not done with this yet. We're pulling up some showers this morning, and you may see a spritz of snow as we get these casserole uh, leftovers out of here, especially into the Southern Highlands. Uh, things are freezing this morning. Uh, we have some cold air that has shuttled in here. Uh, and this front will push out of here and high pressure is spinning back on us, which is causing some of these showers. Now, I'm expecting some clearing in between this and the next little system to roll through here. It'll be 28 today. I'm calling for partly sunshine because we cover such a big area. We're in parts of four states, if you think about it, from Utah to Montana and Wyoming into Idaho Falls and Idaho points west. Uh, it will be 14 degrees tonight, so still ultra cold air coming in with high pressure. We're just spinning things out. Uh, the majority of that energy from yesterday has pushed into uh, the Dakotas, and it's creating a mess there. That'll be a story today at noon. Pocatello, 37, 40% chance of those showers. You're seeing those now. It'll be down to 20 tonight. Will be windy and 42 tomorrow. We gradually take things back toward normal temperatures. It should be in the mid-50s for this time of year. Because, hey, it's spring, right? It's Easter week. It's going to be in the teens overnight. <laughs> And of course, it can snow any time here. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't judge. It, it can happen at any moment. Uh, it will be one of those weeks where we go. How do we relieve the stress? Well, maybe some Easter candy will do it. What's your best one? What's your favorite? You got to have some of those Reese eggs, eh, Cadbury eggs. Those are good. You can paint potatoes too because eggs are so expensive. Two zero eight five three four ninety nine. 57. However, with the 20 plus inches of snow yesterday into Pocatello, uh, it's, it's easy to understand why the Easter Bunny is waiting on the signal to show up. Uh, and even, even the birds are a little confused. Jerry Swore sent us this critter cam video about 50 robins they saw oh in the backyard yesterday showing up just to let them know that they're available for bat mins. And, <laughs> and, for, and for spring, uh, look, look at Jerry's tree in the back. It's like, uh, we're here. We're just waiting for spring. Yeah, please. And you know, they make so great we. eggs, too, those robin eggs yeah. candies. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here at noon. <laughs>